Toyota has pulled out all the stops to come up with the new Ago X, giving its city car an SUV-inspired flavor, a new platform, and revamped tech, despite it occupying a segment where rivals are dwindling fast. The result is a far more accomplished model than before, but thanks to inheriting its Forbes lackluster engine and cramped rear seats, it's short of scoring top marks. Approach the new Toyota Ago X, and it's difficult to grasp exactly what you're dealing with. It looks undeniably fresh, the perp proportions and chunky plastic body protection are striking in the right ways, but there's still some familiarity. The Ago X draws clear inspiration from its predecessor. Ago X has been built on a new GAB platform, a shortened architecture derived from the TNGA, Toyota New Global Architecture Platform, which underpins other Toyota models, like Yaris and Yaris Cross. Despite an increase in dimensions, the cross hatch has maintained its compactness in proportions. The car measures 3,700 mm long, 1,740 mm wide, and 1,525 mm tall. The new 2022 Toyota Ago X is 235 mm longer, 125 mm wider, and 65 mm taller than its outgoing predecessor. It still retains its squat-like silhouette, even though the stance appears to be more upright. The micro UV is wrapped around by a unique two-tone exterior paint scheme. The increase in dimensions has resulted in a greater sense of space inside the cabin. While the focus of the cabin remains on utility, it is a much more modern affair than its predecessor. Taking center stage is a 9.0-inch touchscreen infotainment unit and a semi-digital driver's instrument console. The infotainment system is laced with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, along with the option of Mighty Connected Car Tech. Other features include a multifunction steering wheel, wireless charging, ambient lighting, over-the-air updates and more. Ago X also receives a host of safety functions, such as Lane Trace Assist, adaptive cruise control, and night pedestrian detection among others. Toyota claims that few Ago owners carry four passengers, so it utilized the car's extra length to create a bigger boot instead. At 231 liters, it's a useful 60 liters larger than before. Under the hood, the new car has the same 1.0-liter three-cylinder engine as the outgoing Ago 2, but it rides on a new GAB platform, and there won't be any siblings from Citroën or Peugeot. Despite other makers abandoning city cars, Toyota hopes that the XS SUV-inspired twist will draw in buyers. The basic pure starts from 14,795 to 875 pounds more than the Ago, and has Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, a rear camera, and a 7-inch touchscreen. For an extra £1,700, the Ago X Edge gets 18-inch wheels and an 8-inch screen, while Top Spec Exclusive is equipped with wireless phone connectivity, LED lights, and a 9-inch display, with NAV for £17,715. Toyota claims 58.8 .8 miles per gallon and 110 gram per kilometer of CO2 for our manual model, albeit through a challenging mix of roads. And it's over lumpy tarmac, where the Ago X puts clear distance between itself and its predecessor. It soaks up rough surfaces impressively for a small car, with the new platform adding a dose of civility to the driving experience. It's not serene or unflappable, but the Ago X isolates impacts and bumps relatively well. Thanks for watching and give your comments below.